going on guys? It's your boy Sessa here, bringing us on a Photoshop tutorial, bringing us a cool little banner slash poster design today. Uh, this is actually a little, little theme type of banner I want to do today. It's actually called like more of a uh, Marvel or a superhero or some kind of like comic book theme. You got that kind of like feel where it's like a, a like a quote unquote epic like theme to it. I thought it was pretty cool. I did it from our previous client. Lo I just did it completely on accident for a revamp. I was like, hey, I'm going to try this out really quickly. And then for some reason it went both ways and I was just like, what the heck is going on? And it looked pretty cool, and I just like capitalized on it. it looked very cool. So you probably saw the uh, what the end result is of this today's video in the beginning of the video. So something like that we're gonna be doing today. I hope you guys enjoy it. So don't forget, 200 likes on this video equals the secret down below. So I'll probably put a nice little cool, uh, I guess a preset of what you're gonna be learning today as well. So you guys can use that if you want to like you know help yourself and self teach yourself inside Photoshop. Anyway, it's a very simple thing to do. We're gonna start off right now, and the only thing I'm gonna be using in this entire tutorial will be the uh, actually the 40k brush pack. So you guys really really killed it that video. I, I want to say uh, thank you guys so much. Um, and already we're at I can see my YouTube we're at uh, 40k or 40 plus excuse me 40,600 already. So thank you guys so much. All right, boom. So what we're gonna do here to set off this like we're gonna make the uh, the background nice and just a nice calm clean background we want to do that right now so we're gonna go ahead and do that let's go for it so we're gonna make a new layer and we're gonna use a, the 40k brushes like I said before and I just want to take any of these texture brushes this, this is the the point of the brushes that I try to go for was like more of a texture uh, like a little I guess an end result little splat of here or there you, you'll see what I mean in a second but I just want to take a texture right um, let's just say uh, let's first off put our foreground to white really quickly. What texture do I want to use right now? I don't even know. Uh, let's just go for like this one maybe. That's fine. Just something to put. like to, uh, Yeah, that's fine. Like, like a cloud texture. That's not bad. Just put this little uh, thing. By the way, if I will put this uh, brush pack in the description below just in case you guys have yet to get it. Um, other than that, I'm just going to put this on overlay really quickly. And I just want to make sure I, I set myself up with a background that I really, really like. And I'm going to put it on motion uh, tilt, or blur, excuse me. And it'll look a lot better. It'll just look nice. So I'm going to do one more little simple texture. That way we have uh, our lines can go in different ways. And let's just say this. What is this? No, that's the other thing. I'll just do this. Right? We'll go for this. We're just going to put that on overlay as well. But what we're going to do is we're going to just really set this off by just literally shift clicking on all these. So click on the first one, shift click, and click on the last, the background color. By the way, the background color that you're going to be using, the one I'm using right now is on the hex code 1A, 1A, 1A. And other than that, we're going to shift click on all these, press control J to duplicate, and then control E to merge. And pretty much just like we just, we need to just have something on the background so this works. We're going to go to filter, blur, motion blur. And then we're going to put our angle to zero is fine, exactly, or 90, or 180, doesn't really matter. Um, but we're going to change our distance. And this is what's going to give us that, like, cool little, like, I guess, this wisping look to the uh, background itself. And that's all I really want to do, is just put that there. I think it looks cool. It looks better if you do a, more of a uh, texture that's not, like, so abstract like this one. So if I did something like this, let's just try something really quickly. If I maybe chose, like, mm, Something like this. Yeah, something like this would be a lot better because if I put this on overlay and if I did the same thing I did before, control J to duplicate and then control E to merge, blur, motion blur, it would look a little bit better. See, that looks a lot better. So I'm going to use that one for now. That's better. I like this one. All right, cool. So now that I'm done with that, I can pretty much just group this together and just call this backup if I want to. But this is now our new background layer. All right, cool. So the one thing I'm going to do really quickly is actually make this a little bit more darker. So I'm going to change my brightness to negative 50. And I'm going to change my contrast to about maybe mm, 35 uh, or 20. I'll go for 20 for now. That looks fine. All right, cool. So we're basically done with the whole background part. We just want to set this up. It looks nice, and it's not just so plain. And right now, all we got to do now is just throw my logo in really quickly. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, Control-T to free transform. And I'm going to just hold Shift and click the corner and drag it in. And that should work. Control-R for the rulers. I just want to make sure that I'm in the middle. I'm going to drag my ruler, wait for it to snap in the middle of my canvas, and there is the middle. Cool. And I control H to hide them. All right, cool. All right, so what I want to do now is I'm just going to change my color to this red that I have here. I'm just going to double click on this, color overlay, and I'm going to change this red to the red that I have here. Here is the hex code. It's A uh, AF0B23, 
and that looks pretty good. This is like a very nice, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of that like Marvel color. I don't know, I just really went for this. Um, and this is the same color I used uh, previously as well. So I'm gonna rasterize that layer, and then pretty much we're set to start doing like the little the little edits that we did, like just something a little simple. So what I did before was I took a picture, I'm just gonna take this Marvel picture I found on Google. I just typed in Marvel, and it's one of the first things that popped up. And here we go, I'm just gonna take this, I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. I'm just gonna take. You can take any real picture if you want to. It's just a theme that I want to you know, go for. If you guys like the theme, you can use it as your own. You go ahead and go for changing the picture, whatever you want to change it to. I'm just gonna use Marvel because I think this is like a more Marvel theme. I'm gonna go ahead, right, and I'm just gonna make it a little bit more bigger actually. And I just wanna split this in the half. So wherever about half my logo would possibly be, my logo's not that good for like splitting things. So like, I don't know. I'll go for like that. That's not bad. Then I'm gonna go around really quickly. So with the pen tool, simply enough, all you gotta do is right click, make selection, press OK, and then delete on the picture. So rasterize the layer first, and then delete the picture. And there you go, you got a nice little simple cut in the middle of your thing. So that looks pretty nice, in the middle of can uh, your canvas. I'm gonna put this on luminancy though, and I'm gonna lower the opacity down to maybe about 30%. And this is pretty much where you would just start the whole little, like, little trick to do this thing. So it's very, very simple, literally watch this. All you have to do is go to your adjustments layer. So this is your adjustments tab right here. You wanna to go to brightness and contrast once again, and then literally just lower your brightness all the way to the negative 150, and your contrast make it go all the way up to 100. So you're gonna have this very dark, dark canvas, of course, it's gonna be very dark. So what I'm gonna do really quickly though, I'm gonna to go to my logo, and I'm gonna to go to inner glow. I'm gonna change this color of this like, uh, I guess mustard to yellow to more of a, a solid white. I'm gonna just change my blend mode from screen to overlay, and this is what's gonna give me that nice little cool look right there as well. I can change the stroke size if I want to. I'll do it just a little bit, why not? That looks pretty okay. I'm gonna put the uh, overlay up a little bit more. All right, that's pretty good. All right, cool. So all I gotta do now is work with lighting. I'm gonna put leak lights on the top, which basically means a little simple uh, soft brush thing on the top. So I'm gonna make a new layer. I'm gonna go ahead and take a brush, a soft brush. I also have a soft brush in the 40K pack. Uh, or you can really get one anywhere if you just go to your just change your uh, thing to like one of the the default ones I'm not quite sure which one has it, but I'm pretty sure there's a soft brush in every single one I'm not quite sure though um, Anyway, just take a soft brush and just click once on the top and this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna click once on the top and leave it on overlay on uh, excuse me on normal and the 100 opacity But the next ones I do I'm gonna do an, a couple more so I'm gonna do one more for right now I'm gonna click on it again. I'm gonna put this one on overlay. This will bring this out a little bit more I'm gonna lower the opacity though. And then as well, why not? Just because I know I can, I'm gonna go ahead and just click on a new layer. I'm gonna go to press uh, rectangle marquee tool. I'm gonna just select the entire canvas really quickly. And I'm gonna go to select modify border, put it on, let's say four this time, four pixels. And then since my foreground color is already white, I can just alt backspace to quick fill my foreground color. And I'm just gonna go ahead and press control D to deselect. And then go to my normal, uh, where it says normal and just change it to overlay. And there we go. All right, cool. So what I can do now as well is I can put another brush if I wish to. I don't know. It just depends how much light you really want leaking in. I don't know. I think the fewer it is, the like the less amount there is, it just looks a little bit better in my eyes. Um, I'll say like that. Why not? So when I do this, you can of course click or so I'll say with another another new layer and another soft brush. If you want to lower the diameter a little bit, if you guys don't know how I lower it like this, I press uh, Control and Alt at the same time and then right click to move it left and right to change my diameter and up and down and change my hardness. But on zero hardness and a pretty small diameter, you can click around your logo and just like these certain spots. I'll see like something like right, just like that. I don't know, really just three little spots and put it on overlay. It'll make your logo look, look a little more like vibrant, I guess. It'll just pop out a little bit more. And then with this, it's just all up to you what you want to do at the end of this. So what I did before is I went below my logo, so like right around here. So below my logo, I went and uh, used my text tool really quickly. So of course I press T on my keyboard for this to pop up. And I'm gonna just lower this down to, uh, what is it? Let's say 48, is that good? Nope, uh, 24, that's fine for now. Anyway, I'm gonna just type in graphic designer. And in this font, long shot, it's been used a lot. I've been seeing it everywhere. But when I think of this font, I just think of it as like some kind of like, I don't know, like a, a, a an epic looking font. I don't know. So I'm gonna use graphic designer right now, and I'm gonna go ahead and make this pretty big. So I'll say I'm gonna, I'm just gonna use the the free transform tool, Control T, 
just because I don't want to go back into this thing. Um, anyway, once I've done this, I'm going to rasterize this layer really quickly. I'm just going to put graphic designer. What, do what you want to put in the back. Like, I'm just going to put graphic designer for the client logo. I just put his name of the, uh, the, the whatever he, his organization was. And I'm going to go ahead and go to filter, blur, motion blur once again, but not as crazy like that. I'm just going to do it just enough so you can see the letters. Something like mm, like that, maybe. Uh, that's all right. I just want to be able to see a little bit of the letters. Just a little bit of it. I want to distinct it too much. Mm, that's fine. I'll, I'll just leave it like that for now. I'm going to put this on overlay now, and this will give me some a little bit more of a tone. I'm going to do it one more time, though. I'm going to just type in what this time? I'll type in Sesso HQ. I'm going to make it black this time. The other one was white. I'll make it solid black. And I'm going to go ahead and make this spread a little bit. And then for the black, I'll make sure I put this inside the other one we just did. So I'll make it a little more smaller than that one. And then for this, I'll put this one on, what, like color dot or something? Let's see. What does it look like? Best on. It looks okay on soft light. I'll leave it on soft light for now. But you can see here, it just gives it more of a little character to it. You can see, like, graphic designer in the background, like, a little bit but you can see like this it's just words are just used for like a little add-on design so that's pretty much the tutorial for today you guys see what i did here like there's many things you can do i just want to really show you guys literally this whole entire point which is to show you guys that if you lowered your brightness and contrast all the way to our the negatives of you know the brightness is at, at negative 150 and your contrast is at 100 and you just mess with leak light you can get these very cool like dark themes if you guys have never knew how to work with very dark colors or just very dark themed uh, banner slash poster designs. This is how I do it. I don't know if there's any proper way of doing it, but it looks pretty gosh darn cool. So I hope you guys enjoy this video today and all of my other videos. Of course, you can check them out on my channel if you guys wish to. Also, check out my Selfie, selfie.com, so switch queue for any pre mades and packs as low as $5. Once again, I just want to thank you guys so much for all the support lately. We've been gaining crazy amounts of freaking amazing people, so thank you guys so much. I don't know, I've been having some great past few days and I'm kind of like sick a little bit today, but I'm going to go to the gym and we're going to work it all out. All right, thank you guys so much. Really, I just want to say thank you guys so much. I'll talk to you guys later. So switch you out. Peace.